Okay, we're going to take a look at how to set up SourceTree to work with GitHub. And this process is a little bit fiddly, but if you follow the instructions here, it should work. It'll take you about 10 minutes, and then you won't have to worry about it ever again. The first thing you need to do is to head over to GitHub itself, assuming you have a GitHub account, and you go into your settings. You then head into your developer settings, and then you head into what's called personal access tokens. Now, what is a personal access token? This is what GitHub uses to allow external applications to access your GitHub repository on your behalf. It gives you an extra level of security over using just a straight password. And it turns out that this is the only way to access with source screen. What we're going to do then is generate a new token and we're going to call this source tree because we're going to hand this over to source tree to um, be able to access our GitHub repository. We can set an expiry date. So for example, if we set it to three months, then in three months, we'll have to go through this whole process again. It is possible to have no expiration at all, in which case we won't have to do it again, but we'll pay a penalty, obviously, of having less security. We then select what we want this access token to permit. And really what we're looking for is the ability to do stuff with our repository. We then go ahead and hit generate token. And this magic token here is what we're going to use in source tree to be able to access our account. So we go ahead and copy this. And now we have access available to us. So our next step is going to be to connect source tree to GitHub using that personal access token that we just created. So if you haven't downloaded source tree yet, then go ahead and do so. And once the download is completed, go ahead and launch source tree. Allow it to launch move it to the Applications folder, and lo and behold, it starts running. We will need to connect to our GitHub account. So we click over onto Remote, and then we hit Connect. And this puts us into our Accounts dialog, and we're going to add an account for GitHub. So we select GitHub here, and we then want to select which type of authentication. The default one, OAuth, actually does not work with GitHub, and we have to move to what's called basic. Then we're going to put in our user ID for GitHub, and the password we put in is going to be that personal access token. It's not going to be your password for GitHub itself. The protocol we use is HTTPS, and that's all we need to do. There we are. So our account is now in place. We can get rid of this screen and we can now see all of the projects that we have available in our repository. And assuming you've made your project already, you'll be able to see the one that you have created for this course. Let's go ahead and clone one of our projects just to see how that works. Cloning fills this in. We can also set where we want this to be located. So this is in our home directory and it goes ahead and creates our GitHub repository available on our own computer for us to go ahead and work with.